the Joe Rogan experience. And so boxing, look, so boxing helped save me. It helped me get off it. But eventually you got to get off that too. And you kick. How hard is that? Is it hard to get off it? Okay. There's something called fentanyl out yes. now. Okay. Which is elephant tranquilizer. It's synthetic. It's like spice, like synthetic weed. Okay. All these kids in jail, by the way, these young kids, they smoke this K2 shit. They, and they, they they stop while they're talking to you. Like a kid will be talking to you in jail, like that jail jumpsuit. And he'll just be like, he stops. He looks like he got hit with volcanic ash or something. Because they spray these chemicals on the weed. And it does something to them. They start dancing like Julie Andrews. Right? <laughs> All these bloods and crips are dancing to the sound of music. <laughs> the hills are alive. And, um, uh, it's really, it's weird. So fentanyl is like the heroin version of that. It's synthetic heroin. Yeah, uh, much stronger. People are dying from touching it. Like yeah. they touch it, it gets in your cops system. Cops are dying, or cops are getting overdosed from handling people. These guys see it at the border. That are it, sweating. Right. It comes from China. There's always conspiracy theories about China trying to kill us. And who knows? It's weeding out a lot of junkies. I was in a, a rehab, which I got to give a shout out to. This place, Turning Point in uh, Patterson, is where I really got clean. I was there for three months. I did a month in jail, and then I did three months at Turning Point. Uh, great place. They really helped me out a lot. My counselor, Sarah, shout out to her. But she, uh, you know, I got clean there. But it was in Patterson in the hood. And the gangs would fight each other to get the corner right across from the, the rehab. Oh, Jesus. Because people would come out. Yeah, people come out and they get high. Two <sighs> kids I was in there with, you know, went and got high. They died that day. Jesus Christ. They just leave and they, they died that day. From fentanyl. These are junkies. Yeah. If you get a certain amount of time clean, your your willpower, you know, your your, your resistance resistance goes down, mm. and uh, so they would take what they used to take, and then, and then oh, they would kill. They them. were out that so to get off the suboxone is is very difficult because you got to kick it, you got to kick it. You know, the withdrawals take average four to five days, and I've done that in jail twice. So if you have fentanyl in your system and you take a suboxone, you go into what they call precip withdrawals, which are like the regular withdrawals times a million. Like oh. you feel like you're going to die. You start to hallucinate. This happened to me twice. I went to, I went to jail, uh, not knowing that the Coke, they put it in everything. They put it in the cocaine. They put it in the marijuana because they want people to catch a habit. And if a couple people die, cause if you got a habit, now you got to keep going back. So you're buying what you think is blow. It's not, it's, it's blow with this fentanyl in it. Heroin's brown Jesus when you get it. Christ. It's brown when you get it. It, it, fentanyl is white. So if it's really a lighter color, it's it's got fentanyl in it. But people want to get high so bad, they take the risk. If you're a junkie, you'll take that risk. So I did not know I had fentanyl in my system. It was in the cocaine I had. So I get to, I get to jail, and I see this kid in the bullpen at the jail. And he was a dealer I knew from the street. And he owed me he owed me a favor. And these kids smuggled drugs in in their in the band that era sweatpants they have it right here and if you see a kid going like this all the time and kids walking over to him you know he's got something so i went over to the kid and i said uh, what do you got and he goes i just got subs so boxing i said give me one because I, I you know i couldn't deal with the anxiety and uh he gave it to me i didn't know i had fentanyl in my system i took a suboxone with it and in 10 minutes i was writhing on the floor right just 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 so they threw me in a cell and i had a i had a kick um I had a kick with those kind of withdrawals and on a jail cell. How long does it last? Five days. <clears throat> Five days. Now, the COs, when I was kicking at Essex County Jail, the COs there, are, I love them. They're great guys. They're tough motherfuckers. They got a tough job, and they, they were very supportive of me, and uh, they protected me in there. They were, they were good guys. Uh, but um, uh, So they were giving me uh, food. They were trying to keep me hydrated and shit. There was a doctor there that was really cool. But I, uh, I was naked because you're also on a suicide watch if people kick from heroin again all this emotional pain comes back on you and a lot of people commit suicide so they give you what they call this turtle shell they, they, they you're naked and you go in this turtle thing that's like a velcro thing so i kicked for five days in that thing just just rolling around the floor Jesus i Christ. started to hallucinate my old man's been dead for 30 years i could have swore he was talking to me right in front of me you know it's just, and then, and then knowing that, then I get it out of my system. I get out of jail and I'm, and I, and I get high an hour later, you know? So, so, you know, if, if, if you keep doing that, there's something wrong. So what happened this time that changed? I, I, they, they kept me away for longer than I ever was. 
I, I, I was doing I was doing like two week bid, a week bid in jail. This time I was in jail for almost two months and I kicked. Then I went to a long term rehab and I got locked away from it. And uh, I started to think clearer and think about the consequences and think about my mom. And the fact that my mother is this great Italian woman uh, who, uh, you know, I thought she just needed money from me. I took care. My old man on his deathbed said, take care of your mother. And as an Italian guy from North Jersey, you think that means money. It doesn't mean anything else. So I kept giving her money, not knowing she was worried about me dying, you know, all the time. So she, I thought about her pain and I said, I can't do this anymore. So I just started to think clear. And then the one day at a time comes in. So wow. that's the difference. The difference was I was locked away from the dope longer than I ever was. So not only did the physical withdrawals go away, but uh, the mental withdrawal. Charlie Parker, the great jazz musician, who was a heroin addict, died when he was 35. He said, they can get it out of your body, but they can never get it out of your brain. Charlie Parker died at 35? Charlie Parker was 35. Jesus Christ. The coroner said he was 66. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But, but he had the most profound thing I ever heard someone say about heroin. He said, they can get it out of your brain, but they can get it out of your body, but they can't get it out of your brain. Because you, you remember it. Yeah. You know. remember the, it's a way to deal with shit. And it's a, a maternal thing, right? It's like almost like being in the womb. Like Absolutely. You're protected and warm. Absolutely. I've never done it, but when I had knee surgery, they gave me a morphine drip. Oh, forget and They it. gave me a button. Yeah, anytime that's it. I was in the hospital, I could hit it anytime I want. I just yeah. hammered that thing. Yeah, of course. And you just, just glide off to the most beautiful, wonderful feeling. Well, that's the thing about drugs. They work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <clears throat> it's instant. It's instant. Yeah. You know, you don't want... And again, that's something else in our business. Like, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to wait for anything. I yeah. want the money now. Right, I right, want right. I want to come now. I want to yeah. fucking get high now. Yeah. I want to. I want to gamble now. That's the part of what makes you a great comic, though. That impulsive wildness is what people enjoy in right. comics. Yeah, like absolutely. My, all my favorite comics: Kennison, Joey Diaz. Yeah, all of them struggled. Yeah, all yeah. of them. Yeah, it's it's a uh, you know Pryor. Look, look at Richard Pryor. Yeah, Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce. The, yeah. the, 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 Hicks. Uh, all of them. Yeah. all of them. M had Mitch. Drug Mitch Edberg. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Robin Williams. Everybody. Uh, uh, everybody had drug problems. <laughs>